Ready, Geralt? Mm-hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to aid him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away, I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the witches? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. 
The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! Defend the laboratory! This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. Further, White One, I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart! A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic light is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savola's eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go.
I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witches, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white dull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. 
Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall, inside a chest. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later.
That was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. We'll speak later. Yes? Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, twenty-three witchers and forty students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witchers. But no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Can I ask you something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. We'll speak later. What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some selandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young. And that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab. And the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. 
I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more... I'll talk to Vesemir. How can I help? Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail. The mind sometimes, too. Resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes. Reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. We'll talk later. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin the creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion.
Yes? What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time, it's not that hard. Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to a room. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest, and prepare the potion according to the formula. How can I help? We'll talk later. What is it, Wolf? Any thoughts on the attackers? Amateurs. If not for the mage and the frightener, we'd have beaten them blindfolded. But they had a mage and a frightener. They robbed us and killed Leo. True, but we'll find them. Leo said he almost defeated you. We were sparring when that storm arrived. My medallion jerked so hard I almost fell. The boy saw an opening. Uh, he certainly had potential. Then Marigold appeared, shaking, delirious. She insisted we chase the wild hunt. Vesemir agreed. He always had a soft spot for her. You dislike Triss? She's too pretentious for my taste. Can you tell me about the fighting styles witchers use? The art of combat involves three traditional sword fighting styles, plus a few variations designed for combating monsters. Start with the basic styles. Kier Marn is the wolf school. Old Vesemir always made sure we trained more as warriors than mages, though we also learned the signs. Witches employ three fighting styles. There's Adan Enye, the fiery dancer, which we call the fast style. The Viroledan Nefde Fendlediv, the group style. And the Temerian Devil, the strong style. Which style do you want to hear about? The fiery dancer sounds interesting. The legendary elven swordsman and poet Nisail created it. Basing the system of steps and cuts on his observations of wildcats, especially the ocelots that elven rulers used as palace guards. The fiery dancer favors speed and agility over strength of blows. Opponents simply don't have the time to strike back. The ideal swordsman is a flame that cannot be hurt and inflicts wounds each time it is touched. This ale himself wrote that. The style is popular among the elven aristocracy. Which style do you want to hear about? Tell me about the Viroledan style. Literally translated, it is the Nine Sun Sword style. The swordsman of Verolito developed it as a method for tackling several opponents, 
through complex slashing sequences. They say masters of this style can fight nine opponents simultaneously. Which style do you want to hear about? Temerian Devil sounds familiar. <laughs> sounds poetic, but there's little or no philosophy involved. Devised by Temerian Landsknechts, simple men. It's best against heavy armored opponents. Which style do you want to hear about? I think I've heard enough. All right. Can you tell me about the fighting styles? The art of combat. I wouldn't mind hearing about monster fighting techniques. You noticed we carried two swords? That's because some monsters are immune to steel. A normal sword won't cut them. For instance? Werewolves, vampires, genies, and other magical beasts. The techniques for fighting with a silver sword derive from traditional swordsmanship. But there are a few essential differences. No parries and repasts, mainly steps, evasive moves, spins, and other acrobatics. I'll be in trouble if I don't get my memory back. You'll be alright, Wolf. Your body will recall all it needs to. Certain things you never forget. Trust your intuition when choosing your fighting style. The Devil's best against Kikimors, Graviers, and Fleathers. The Fiery Dancer is absolutely superb against Barghests and Ghouls. And the Verilatin? Anything that attacks in groups, but initially limited to drowners. Thanks, Lambert. No problem, Wolf. We'll speak later. How can I help? We'll talk later. How can... You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred the Vesemir, but still... We'll talk... Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out. But I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. 
Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the Circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Geralt, can we go? Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal Then climate. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, he removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss.